Brianna Ray, and welcome to me coming to terms with the fact that uh, I have a crafting channel and my glue guns suck. As you can see, my cat over here is digging into a box that I received from Amazon today. Uh, what's important about that is today I'm going to do a little glue gun smackdown. I, I actually had a company reach out to me who have developed a new glue gun uh, as a part of their line of hand tools for crafting, and, uh, and they asked me if I would mind doing a review on their new glue gun, and I said, hmm, yes, because my glue guns are trash. So I currently have two different glue guns and here they are. I have my mini glue gun, which I pretty much use for everything because it still functions. It's just old and raggedy and kind of gross. And I have this guy, which is my full size glue gun, which now only works if you push from the back and will not work if you push with the plunger. However, it does have two heat settings. So that is one thing that it kind of has on the mini on top of obviously being able to distribute a little bit more glue. Now I have both of these glue guns, and it is time to bring in the glue gun I have been asked to review, which I think based on looks alone, with how horrendous these guys are getting, could easily beat them out in this glue gun showdown. So I have my box here. And here is the glue gun that I was sent. So the creator of this glue gun is Monvict. I believe that is the uh, company that contacted me as well. Um, so I think I'm just going to kind of go take you through the features and see how they compare to the glue guns that I currently have and then we were going to put them to the test. So uh, to start, uh, one of the biggest things it has down here is it notes that it has a detachable wire. While my mini glue gun does not, it is just stuck in there, my large one does have a detachable um, wire so that I can obviously pick it up and kind of move it around. That's kind of what it advertises it for, that you can uh, take it away from the outlet that you're plugging it in and then um, be able to return it so that it can reheat and you can use it uh, without having to be kind of glued to the wall, pun intended. Mine also has this uh, little switch here to go up to one, that's the hotter temperature, and two, which is the lower temperature, which I think doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Um, and it does have this like stand that can flick on and out of the way. Um, and it takes full-sized glue sticks. So that is nice. It does have a relatively fine tip on it. Um, comparing it to this full-size glue gun, which obviously I have yet to open. Um, it does have the switch at the bottom for uh, the hotter or colder. I think I'm going to have to figure out, I'm assuming there's directions in here that'll tell me if the two is hotter, which would make sense to me. The two should be hotter because it's a higher number, I guess. It has, I think, a little bit bigger of an, op of an opening kind of nozzle, which I can compare probably better when we get uh, to the end. Obviously, it does have the detachable wires from the back, and something that I think is really, really nice about this that um, I have yet to experience in a glue gun is it stands. It is supposed to stand on its own um, without like leaning over, so you can't be uh, burn your workstation, which I think is pretty nice. So I think it's time for me to open this up and see what happens. Okay, now that I have them out and both in my hands, I kind of feel like a real kind of, I don't know, badass, I guess? Is this like the moment I'm going for where, you know, my weapon of choice is glue gun? I think there's a pretty immediate difference in, I mean, size. Obviously, this guy's just a little bit bigger. It does stand on its own, which I'm obviously not showing at the bottom here, but it is standing on its own um, and more directly. And you can see that uh, standing this one up, it's just a little bit shorter, uh, even though the barrels are about the same. And you can tell, hopefully, I'm going to try to put that nice and close. Uh, you can see that the Monvict glue gun does have a little bit um, thicker of a glue distributor. I don't even know uh, what to put there. I think they call it a copper nozzle. Nozzle, that's what we'll call it. Let's go for that. Um, I think the feel of this is a little bit more natural in my hand um, as opposed to this one because I think it has the, um, it's like a full semicircle piece down here. I can't wrap my fingers around the bottom of it as nicely. I have to kind of push them all over the top and it's not quite as comfortable, whereas I can just do kind of two fingers here and have a nice grip, um, which I actually really like. Um, I also like these kinds of um, power buttons, I suppose. Um, I think that while this may be a little bit easier to kind of accidentally click, it seems pretty like um, 
like it requires a lot of force. I don't think it'll click automatically, whereas this one's like a little bit on the looser side. Um, I don't even know if you can hear it, but um, it just kind of slides and there's like, there's a point where it can be in the middle on this guy, which I think is kind of not super obvious because of my lighting. Um, but this one, there's no like middle opportunity. It's either up or down. Um, and it makes a nice solid click so that I know it's like stuck there. And this one also has a nice light on the back of it, this red one that I think uh, has different colors if I'm not mistaken. Um, and this guy I thought had a light on it. I can't quite think it might be here. This one I think you can find on Amazon for about $8, uh, whereas this one is $20. So there's definitely a price difference, but I think there is probably also going to be a pretty obvious quality difference as well. Now, obviously I've had this one for a while and maybe it's just going to go out over time and I can't quite test this in one video on how it's going to last over time. Uh, but frankly, if it is a glue gun that works great out of the get, as opposed to this guy who, you know, got messy really easily, has a lot of like really loose strands like all the time I think it definitely will be worth the almost double the price of investment all right what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to plug all of these guys in at the same time and see how long it takes each of them to heat up now I have a suspicion that the tiny glue gun is gonna heat up a little bit faster because it is less of an area to heat up if you're using hot glue you really want to get things done quickly I think that's one of the benefits of using hot glue is it dries fast and it uh, they should heat up pretty fast so I'm gonna factor that in and start by plugging all of these in at the same time I have a nice little outlet back here with three things from it so it'll be coming from the exact same outlet using the exact same uh, power source and we'll see uh, how long that takes so I'm gonna line these guys up and as you know this uh, glue gun doesn't like to stay up very well be that's why I actually uh, DIY a little glue gun stand for it and it'll be easy to tell which one is the Monvict because it's the only black cord I have here and yep, let's plug them in. This one plugs in automatically. This one you actually have to turn on, so let me turn that on to the hot, what I'm assuming is the high setting. Um, it does not look like the light has turned on. I think it says that it will turn on when it's ready to use. This guy is just going to be on. And this one also just does not have any light at all. Um, and it does start to heat up as soon as it's plugged in. So um, that's definitely, I think, a point in this category as well because it does have the ability to turn it off. Um, whereas both of these guys, as long as they are plugged in, they are going to stay on. So. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a little bit of time and we'll see which one comes first. We are about three minutes in and this guy I think is ready to go. So I will use this thing here just so I could easily peel the glue off. Um, I believe it's working already. Yep, mini glue gun. Um, it doesn't go very easily. It definitely took a little bit of time to get it in there, but that's working already at about three minutes. Let's do this guy next. The white hot glue gun um, at the lower temp actually is still not ready. The ad tech is not ready. And let's check this guy out. It advertises that it's ready between two and six minutes. So I think this is a reasonable time frame for us to expect the glue to be prepped. Now this didn't have a glue gun, glue stick already in it, so it might need a little bit more pushing to get to the edge. Let's see. It did come with glue sticks too, I didn't actually mention that. Um, looks like it's actually not pushed in all the way and I'm gonna need that the second one. So that might be part of it. Right. It's not hard to do with one hand either, which is kind of nice. Um, if you're trying to film like I am. Let's see. Oh, okay. It came out nice and smooth. Um, you can see it definitely dripped a little bit more. Um, I wasn't quite sure when it was gonna come out, so that's probably easier on my part. Um, and I do have this on the potter setting, actually, and it was already ready to go, whereas the white one is not. Um, I also noticed on the back that, and it's, you can't totally tell with the lighting. Let me see if I can adjust that. There's a green light that means it's on the hotter setting, and if it glows red, then it's supposed to have a lower setting um, and this was mentioned in the ad that I'm not super crazy about but apparently because of the pressure that's created inside of it it may continue to drip which it actually is doing right now even if uh, you're not pressing the nozzle so right now it's just kind of dripping onto my table I wonder if that will happen if I switch it to the lower setting so I'm gonna switch it to the lower setting and you can actually see now the red light is on so it is on the lower setting um, and let's see we're at about close to six minutes now and I want to see if white glue gun is up and running just quite yet 
No. You can see that, like, this is the thing that frustrates me, and I don't know how this even happened, um, but I think it jammed or something in, in the back, and that's why it's not working so well anymore, but it still pushes it on the white one forward, but nothing comes out, and it feels warm-ish, not super warm. I wonder if I push the back again, if it'll go, but I'll give that a shot. No, still nothing, and that's almost at six minutes, so... Um, the tip is warm, um, but I can still touch it, whereas I would feel risky about touching either of these. Of course, this one has a plastic tip and this one has nothing. It's still kind of going on the drip meter. Um, and that's, again, not to say that some other hot glue guns don't do this, but I don't know if it's necessarily at this capacity, because it is still going. And it's been about, I want to say three minutes since I actually tested it out. So I'm going to stop my stopwatch now. Um, and kind of clean up my glue mess that I've made. On the bright side though, even if it does have this feature, because it stands, the glue is not constantly dripping out the side. So like this guy, my tiny little glue gun that I have here, the mini one, um, because it is set to angle downward, the glue can keep flowing out the side and then continue dripping and that's why this one keeps dripping. This is obviously a pressure issue. I finally have some glue coming out of my ad tech. Um, but as you can see, even as it's dripping out, it is, like, it's already solid again. It's the weirdest thing. So, I'm not super crazy about this. It actually is really frustrating because I really liked this glue gun when I got it. I think what had happened is I lost this guy and so my mom picked up the ad tech one for me from the store and thought the bigger one would be better. Um, let's see if now that we're at about eight minutes, if it'll squirt out at all not a lot um and it's definitely not anywhere near as smoothly even the mini one works better than that i really if it weren't obvious i'm not a big fan of this ad tech one um and so far i definitely think the monvict one uh, is winning on several counts and i think the only way oh the only area that the white one or even the blue one would be winning is that it definitely does not drip as much as the monvict does i would kind of like to see you know how it um goes down uh, as well as how long it will take to uh, cool down. So I am going to do this um, on the lower temp for all of them, um, or the only temp that the mini one offers. And I am gonna go up, I think about five centimeters. I think that seems appropriate. So I'm going to go here with the blue one and I'm gonna set a stopwatch to see how long it takes each of these lines to dry. Our ad tech. You can see something's already kind of coming out the end of it, so I'll just pick you up. So obviously this one drips as well, it just kind of hardens before it gets to the bottom, so do with that information what you will. Okay, so that one went okay. It definitely looks a little less smooth, a little more rickety, and the difference uh, is pretty clear between, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, is pretty clear between what is thickness, that's the word I was going for, the thickness of the glue is far less consistent on the ad tech than it is on the mini. And now to give the Monvict a shot, go on this 13 centimeter line here. All right, I went a little bit, little bit longer with that one. Um, but I think this one is a little bit thicker in general because it's got a bit thicker of a nib. Let's see about peeling these guys off. This guy is totally dry and it's been about a minute. Perfect. And I've just been kind of keeping track of like laps for when I started each of these. So this one dried in about a minute, no problem there. Feels dry to the touch. All right, so you can definitely see a giant difference here. And this one is, it's almost like you got almost no thickness at all. Um, it's like much thinner which could be a good or bad thing depending on what it is that you're looking for. But I do think that the thinness is actually more attributed to the fact that it is struggling to come out and it's definitely nowhere near as even as I would like it to be. Uh, this guy you can see definitely more consistent in thickness along the length. Oh, this one's kind of like stretchy. It's got a little bit more elasticity to it. Um, and I think you can see kind of where I pressed down a little bit more and like picked up off the area. I tried to kind of keep it the same pressure along the whole thing. Uh, but this one is definitely more comparable to the mini in terms of thickness. 
uh, but it does look a little bit more consistent, a few less rickety edges here, and that again is probably because of how much easier it is to squeeze. And something else that I think is super important to mention is now that I have it on the lower side, and now that I've had um, had it there and been able to squeeze it as such it's not dripping anywhere near as much now that it's on the lower setting so that might just be the fact that it's a little bit hotter but this for instance is already like dry um no issues there and minimal heat problems so yeah i actually think that this went pretty well for some perspective this is the total amount of glue that dripped out of the monvict glue gun over the course of the video it's not that bad um but you know, that is glue that could be used in a project, project. so I just wanted to toss that out there for you. Last thing I'm going to be doing is setting a timer to see how long it takes each of these um, glue guns to cool down after use. So I'm going to unplug them. So this will be good for figuring out exactly how long this is going to last. So if I unplug this uh, little guy and take him across the room because I'm not doing my project close to the wall or close to an outlet, uh, how long is it going to last? So I'm going to give him about two minutes each because that's how long uh, the Monvict claims that it can go for. So I will see how easy it is to use after the two minute mark. And yeah, we'll do a little final comparison. All right, we're at about two minutes. So let's take a look, see at the mini. Still kicking. White one. Still kicking. Try not to waste so much glue and Monvict. Still going. So we just did a little dot there. Let's see how long these go. All right, we're at about uh, four minutes now. So double the time. The white guy's still going, but a little bit struggling. The blue one also struggling a bit. Um, but still glue is coming out and Monvit is still coming out super, super smooth. And that is at double the time they said this could last being unplugged. Uh, and again, at the lower temperature. So I think without a doubt, Monvict wins the ability for use uh, when it's not plugged in. It's almost like kind of charging and going and, you know, being able to return it. So that is actually a pretty neat feature. Okay, I think it's time for my final thoughts. Well, first of all, I'd like to congratulate myself for my ability to have three fully operational, fully, I say loosely, uh, I managed to get through this with absolutely no burns. I think overall I can say without a doubt that this Monvict glue gun is by far superior to the other two that I have already had in my collection. And I think the fact that it is a little bit higher up there in price reflects the quality a little bit better. And I definitely think that the features that it boasts are really really great for the price as well i love that it stands on its own that is something that i've never had in a glue gun before i like that it has multiple settings i like that uh it's super easy to use and squeeze it has options um as far as the um you know being able to pick it up and use it somewhere else bring it back for reheating um it's got color coding it's got it comes with glue guns with glue sticks already so that you can test it out relatively immediately overall it's more comfortable to use it's bigger um and i think you can get a lot more glue out with the specific um like size of the nozzle and i feel relatively okay touching it without getting burnt immediately or which is something i cannot say for my mini um the it heats up way faster uh this one was pretty much ready to go at like two three minutes as was my mini and i think that that and that was even at the higher temperature for this guy so definitely heats up really quickly so you can get to your crafting and getting stuff done a lot easier and quicker um, this guy took so long to heat up. It's so much of a struggle to use that even though it's full-sized, I would almost say that I would, I would probably throw this away if not uh, donate it or see if any of my friends need a hot glue gun because it is so far below what this is and is more expensive than this guy. This one you can get for about four or five dollars off of Amazon. This guy is about eight or nine and you know if you want to go double that and get something really quality that's probably going to last you a lot longer I think I could recommend this. I think the only qualm I have with this is how much this guy drips. That would probably be my only knock down um, and I will be including that on my Amazon review as well. Uh, but yeah I think this was really informative and if you guys are looking for a new glue gun and you want something that's going to be an investment that'll definitely last you a little bit longer than say this full-size guy here which I probably had for about a year before it started ugh, going out on me um, I would definitely go for that um, if you're in the market for a full-size glue gun um, the minis are great obviously if you just need something quick and you're doing like tinier projects um, 
so I can recommend this guy as well just because it's it's been my go-to for years and I've had absolutely no problems with it. I've had this since high school. It's lasted me through everything, so I'm definitely not getting rid of this guy. It's still great to have if I just need, you know, tiny projects, um, you know, real quick, and not to mention the glue gun, the glue sticks. Uh, you can get like a giant pack of 20 for a dollar at Dollar Tree. So I think this is great for the tiny stuff. This is really, really great for what it is and if for the features that it boasts. I've definitely never had a glue gun like this, and I'm really glad that I now have the opportunity to keep using it, and hopefully it will be showing up in some of my upcoming videos. Speaking of upcoming videos, if you like what you saw feel free to like and subscribe I put out new crafty videos or artsy or reviewy whatever I feel like on Sundays at noon Eastern Standard Time and I would love for you to be there to join me next week to see what we do then so thanks so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you next week bye